So if you're considering starting a podcast for your personal brand or your business in 2024, but you're completely overwhelmed by all the gear that you might have to buy, what cameras you need, what microphones, lighting, and you start adding all this up and you're like, my God, this is gonna cost me thousands of dollars. Well, I have good news for you because if you have an iPhone and about a $250 budget, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can start a video podcast in 2024. All right, so I didn't have my whole fit on, but we're dialed now and time to get you dialed with your podcast as well. So like I said, if you wanna start shooting a video podcast for your business or your personal brand this year, then I highly recommend just starting with your iPhone. And a few things that you can do with your iPhone to get the best video quality possible out of it is actually just dial in a few settings. So right now I'm actually filming this on my iPhone 15 Pro. And the keys here are you wanna make sure you're filming in 4K, 30 frames per second. You wanna make sure that your video format is set to most compatible. That way, if you or someone else is editing this, it's gonna be very smooth in all post-editing platforms. And then you wanna make sure you're not shooting in ProRes or HDR or anything like that, because that's just gonna take up a ton of extra space. I'm just filming this in the standard video mode, not even cinematic mode right now, and I'm at a 2X zoom. So my phone right now is about five to six feet away, and it's at that 2X zoom, so it gives a little bit more compression, kind of blurs the background just a little bit more, and I feel like the framing looks really good with this shot. So now that you've got your iPhone video settings dialed in, the next thing that you wanna do to ensure that you get the highest quality video possible out of your phone is actually invest in some good lighting. And you can get a really good lighting kit like this for just 200 bucks. I'll link that and everything else I mentioned down in the description below. But this is a great starting point just to get a good video light set up for you. And it's very similar to the one that I'm actually using right now. So you don't need to break the bank on lighting. You don't need to buy a brand new camera, but there's a few things that you can do to help you get started to improve that quality and improve the overall experience for the viewer. So the light that I recommend if you're on a budget, not trying to spend a ton of money and you just want a good solid video light to get started is the GVM SD80D. And this is just a bicolor LED light, almost exactly like the one that I'm using right now. And it's just 200 bucks for the light, the soft box and the stand, which honestly is such a great deal. This way you get everything all in one. Typically you have to buy the light, the soft box and the stand all separately. It ends up costing you a lot more money. Although you can get a little higher quality stuff, but the GVM light is honestly a solid product and it's also by color, which means it'll allow you to adjust its color temperature to a little warmer, or a little cooler depending on how you like the look or what the color in the room is. Now, like I said, if this is gonna be more of a group podcast where you have two, three, or four people on at once, you probably do wanna invest in two of these just so everyone can kind of get lit equally. But if it's just gonna be a solo pod with just you kind of talking about things in your business or you're the only one that's going to be on camera, then you can totally get away which is using one light. Now I do have a couple extra lights here in this room as practicals. So I do have a hair light off to the side of me, obviously, as you can tell here. And that just helps kind of this side of my head pop a little bit and separate myself from the background. And then I also have another one behind me that is color cast blue. These are both the same lights. You can change the color, whether you want a warm or cool light or pretty much any RGB color that you need. And these are the Govi floor lamps. They're right around, I think like 120 to 150 bucks each. I really recommend these. They look good in pretty much any setting. You can change the color temperature. You can change which color they actually are. They don't break the bank. They're super easy to use and you can kind of get creative with the way that you want to use them. And now the next thing that you wanna think about when starting your video podcast, obviously this is a podcast, which means it has audio, which means you're gonna want a high quality microphone. Now you don't need to go out and buy something like the Shure SM7B for $400 or even buy a different microphone for you know 100 or 200 bucks, but you can actually invest in a wireless microphone like what I'm wearing right now, which is the Rode Wireless Go 2, which I think is around like 200, 250 bucks and you get two of them as well as a receiver. Now being brutally honest, I usually don't recommend these because they're kind of tough to use. I've had like a lot of tech issues with them, but I know the DJI ones are really, really good. And they just came out with a new version of that. So that's around $350, but you get two microphones with that. So if it's you and a guest having a conversation, it's a great option to throw on your shirt, throw on any article of clothing and ensure that you're gonna get really crisp, clean audio with it. Now, if you're really balling on a budget and you don't wanna spend 200 or $300 on microphones, there's also a great option for about a hundred bucks from a company called 
called Hollyland, and it's the Hollyland Lark 1, and it actually comes with two mics and a receiver that you can plug straight into your iPhone. I've heard these before, I've never personally used them, but from what I've seen online, they sound amazing. It's probably the best bang for your buck microphone that you can get. If you're looking at those microphones that are around the $50 mark, I would totally consider stepping up another 50 bucks and investing in the Hollyland Lark M1. This is gonna get you crystal clear audio. It's gonna sound super good. And if you're looking for where to get this gear or just other recommendations, I have a Podcasting Pro gear kit down in the description below that you can check out. It's basically set up for three different budgets, whether you're in the $300 to $1,000 range for your budget or the two to $4,000 range, or if your budget is $10,000 plus, there's three different sections of listed gear that will help get you started depending on your budget and depending what you're looking for. So definitely go check that out down in the description below. Now, the final thing you're going to want to consider when you're starting a video podcast is going to be the post-production side of things. How are you going to take this video that you're filming and get it edited and get it uploaded to these different platforms? What platforms do you even need to post it on? And the great thing about doing this on your iPhone is it makes it super easy just to throw into an editing software like CapCut, which is what I recommend if you're just a very beginner editor and don't want to do anything crazy, maybe just add a quick title, cut off you know the beginning and the end and get it up on YouTube. YouTube. I totally recommend CapCut for starting that. And then for the audio side of things, you want to create an account with a software like Podbean is what I've used in the past. And this allows you to upload the audio version and it automatically distributes to all of the audio podcasting platforms for you. Another reason why I love the strategy of starting a video podcast is the ability to get short form clips for platforms like Instagram Reels, Facebook, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. There's so many opportunities within a podcast to cut short little 20 to 60 second clips out of that you can post on the various short form platforms to help you get a lot more consistent content. And one resource that you can use to do this is actually called Opus Pro. And once you have your video uploaded to YouTube, you can actually throw it into Opus Pro and it'll cut all the clips for you. It'll add captions and everything like that. So you have to do very minimal work. Now, if the thought of editing your podcast or editing individual clips or anything like that at all overwhelms you, then you could actually check out my company, Vertical Video Pro. It'll be linked in the description below where we actually edit podcasts and short form clips for business owners just like you to take care of all of that legwork. So hopefully this quick video gave you some encouragement on starting your video podcast this year and how you can do it with just your iPhone and like a $300 budget to buy a light and a couple wireless mics to get you up and running. I think there's still an amazing opportunity out there for podcasting and building your brand, having more conversations with more people and getting more content out there on these social media platforms. I think a lot of people overthink the content that they need to put out. So having a podcast where you can just capture those conversations intimately in that unique format and then cut clips, cut the long form, even cut some mid form content for you is really going to allow you to get a lot more content out there this year. So if you liked this video, if it helped you in some way, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to start putting a lot more video content out there for you guys, teaching you how to get started creating video content on social media, even if it's just using your iPhone. And if you have any questions or want me to cover things in future videos, drop it down in the comments below. I read everyone. I try to reply to every single one as well. But that's it for me today. I really hope this video helped you and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.